In Blender's Shader Node Editor, there are several vectors available from our scene to manipulate texture coordinates. So we can offset, stretch and align our texture by means of vectors like the viewing angle or the direction in which a polygon is facing. This way we can get our shading addressed the point of view and other properties which are not properties of our mesh surface. Sometimes we want to change the coordinates, especially for animation. These changes shall be continuous and even. Changes like adding a number to the coordinates will offset the texture. If we keyframe the number, we move the texture. If we multiply the coordinates by a factor, we see the texture scale. Of course, this factor can multiply just one axis if we leave the other axis factors at 1 then they won't change their axis scale. Now know that we scale the coordinates, not the texture. So big factor values produce dense coordinates and small factors widen the coordinates. Since they map our texture, we can imagine our texture to stretch like a rubber band with small factors and the texture compresses with big factors. We can call such multiplication of coordinates scale or scaling. It's the opposite of size. Note that many of the textures have a scale parameter, where big values produce smaller structures. In Blender's Shader Node Editor, there are several vectors available from the mesh surface or other objects, which we can use to manipulate texture coordinates. So we can offset stretch and align our texture by means of vectors like our viewing angle or the direction in which the polygon is facing. This way, we can get our shading addressed the point of view and other external properties, which are properties of our shaded surface or properties of other objects. So there is the surface normal vector, there are normalized vectors, and two vectors can be normal to each other, which doesn't mean that they have a length of one. It just means that they have a 90 degree angle between each other. What else? The incoming vector is very useful. We used it already in parallax mapping and I did not explain what it actually is. It is a vector pointing right towards the camera. We get it from the geometry node, meaning that it's defined as direction in global space. And we have to be careful about the space in which our vector is defined. If we do map with different vectors, it's only convenient to calculate all vectors in the same space. In the following video, we will build some shader node groups that do handy coordinate transformations so that we can combine them to construct complex vector coordinates like twirls, tapers or waves. Reminds you of the simple deform modifier? That's because it uses these coordinate transformations as deforming operators. So now that we got this out of our way, we are ready to explore the next examples.